A lot of people in Cape Town are absolutely furious about the fact that the city of Cape Town are banning off-grid inverters. And uh, grid tie inverters cost double the price typically of uh, an off-grid inverter. So you're looking at the difference of 10,000 Rand versus 20,000 Rand for a 5 kilowatt system, more or less, roughly speaking. And in an article in my broadband, they are trying to explain why the city of Cape Town is doing this. Now, I'm not condoning or not condoning what they are doing. I'm explaining the situation to you. And I have t warned people before that this is going to happen and that you need to go completely off grid or stay on the grid. And this is exactly what is playing out right now. I said, if you don't go completely off grid, then you are becoming a problem for the current grid. And that will always be the case. And this is the problems that we are running into now. Why Cape Town is banning off-grid inverters for solar installations. People are obviously very upset because they've already invested money, spent money on inverters now that the city of Cape Town will refuse to approve. The city of Cape Town will stop approving off-grid inverters for use in solar backup systems to curb faulty and dangerous installations of these inverters in households that remain connected to the grid. So if you have an off-grid inverter, you should not be connected to the, the city's electricity supply or ESCOM supply at all. The city's grid is connected to the ESCOM grid. It is not separate from the ESCOM grid. So they just control, do the reticulation of a portion of the grid that the city physically installed. But ESCOM connects to that grid. It's part of a massive national grid. And the larger the grid, the more stable the grid becomes. For every solar installation that is grid tied, when you start feeding into the grid where you can now get money back for your solar feeding into the grid, it causes grid instability. Because the moment you supply into the grid somewhere, even during stages of load shedding, ESCOM needs to control the frequency because you connecting to the grid has increased the frequency. Even if it is by a minuscule amount, when there's thousands of homes doing it, it adds up. It becomes many megawatts that influences the grid. And because our entire national grid is diminished, the influence is becoming a problem right now. And I warned about this three years ago get off the grid if you cannot get off the grid you are going to be a problem if you don't just use escom's power and become part of the normal load shedding regime so at this stage if you have a portable power station or a trolley that you plug in when you need it um, that system itself has already got the function of acting like a ups or not and if it's plugged into the wall load shedding uh, works with that system without any issues. The problem is when you have solar panels that can feed into the grid. What people have done is actually connected their systems up in a way that when they are using power, their meter is saying that you are sending power onto the grid. And this is why the city of Cape Town wants to regulate the installation of these inverters. They certainly do not want to pay you for using power that they buy from ESCOM. This is all also a way for them to generate income. And there's no way that the DA run city of Cape Town is going to get you stealing money from them. They want money because they want to grow their footprint in the city. So you are not going to get away with this. They are going to make sure that every house with a solar installation on its roof has either got an approved system of which they will decide who the supplier is that installs it, what type of uh, inverter is that they supply. But they have made a blanket decision to ban you applying to have an off-grid inverter connected unless they cut ties with you at the boundary of your property. And you can do that. So if you cut the supply to the property, you can have an off-grid inverter and you can be completely off the grid. This is not a problem. But people don't do that. They still want the ESCOM or the city supply into their DB board. And this is where the wiring goes wrong. So I just wanted to explain that you become a problem to the grid because national control is actually influenced by this. Okay? This is not just about ESCOM making more money. This is about grid stability. And everyone just supplying power into the grid. ESCOM cannot stop it. 
So they are affected and they might actually have to drop load accordingly or even disconnect load if the frequency goes too high. And I know for many people technically this might be difficult but I hope that I've explained in a more simple terms what this means. I'll give you a link to this article from my broadband in the description below. So in this case I understand why the city of Cape Town is saying that we need to regulate when people want grid tied inverters that feed back into the grid where they can get costs back that they want to regulate that. I would do that if I was a city. It's extremely dangerous to just connect equipment to the city's grid without uh, them knowing that it's done correctly and safely. So I hope this has helped you understand. You can put questions in the comments below if you have any. Thanks so much for watching. Please share this with your friends and family and remember to subscribe if you have not yet. Click the bell icon to get notifications and like this video.